Hello. In this Java tutorial, we're going to learn about for loops. For loops let us repeat a command or commands. Each for loop declares a variable that acts as a counter. The counter variable will monitor the progression of the loop, but can also be used inside the loop for various purposes. We'll learn some more about some of these various purposes in later videos. Let's start by declaring a for loop. The header of the for loop has three parts. The first part declares and initializes a variable that acts as a counter. The second part, the test expression, checks to see if the for loop will continue. Finally, the update for the variable will happen at the end of each cycle of the for loop. In this case, i will be incremented by 1. Let's add some code inside the body of the loop. In this case, we're going to print out the value of the counter variable i. Let's trace out this loop. We'll start by declaring int i and setting it equal to 0. Next, we check, is i less than 4? It is, so we may continue with the loop. We print off the value of i, which is in this case 0. At the end of the loop, we increment i by 1 to become 1. Next, we check, is i still less than 4? It is, so we may continue the loop. We again print off the value of i, in this case 1. At the bottom of the loop, we again increment the value i by 1, in this case to 2. We check, is i still less than 4? It is, so we may continue with the loop. We print off the value of i, which is 2. We increment the value of i to 3. We check, is i still less than 4? It is. We print off the value of i, which is 3. We increment the value of i by 1, and now it becomes 4. We check is the value of i less than 4. It is no longer less than 4. This Boolean expression is false, so we terminate the loop and continue on to any code after the loop. To continue to the next lesson, please click on the video in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. To see the whole curriculum, please click on the video in the lower right-hand corner of the screen.